What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're continuing our 30 day series on learning to model by modeling something a little different. In today's video, we're gonna be modeling Thor's hammer. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the handle. I'm gonna assume the handle's gonna have a radius of maybe half an inch. So I'm gonna draw this to half an inch, and then we're going to extrude this out using the push-pull tool. So tap the P key, and we're gonna extrude this to 12 inches. And so this is gonna act as our hammer, and we're gonna add more detail to our hammer in a little bit. Okay, and so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start modeling the hammer. And so I'm gonna activate the line tool right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing we did in a previous video where I'm gonna model half of it, and then I'm gonna use components to make up the other half. So I'm assuming that in this case, the overall hammer is gonna have a length of maybe 10 inches. So I'm gonna say that this is gonna go five inches this way. It's gonna have a width of six inches right here. We're gonna draw a line across this way. And what I wanna do is I wanna select this component, or I wanna select this surface by double clicking on it. I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna make it a component and we're gonna call it handle half. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the move tool in copy mode. So tap the M key, tap control, and we're gonna make a copy. And then I'm gonna scale it to negative one and I'm gonna move it over here. Well now, what happens is when I push pull this up to a thickness of five inches, my half on the other side is going to be basically a component that makes up the copy right here. And we can double click in here and tap the E key and hold shift to go into hide mode. And we can hide these edges by dragging over them so that this looks smooth. So now if I double click out of here, notice how there's not really a seam anymore. And so in this situation, what I wanna do is I wanna draw some lines across the corners here. So I'm gonna draw a little line that's maybe like three eighths of an inch down. And then I'm gonna draw a diagonal line across here um, in order to split this face off. And we're gonna use this in order to bevel our hammer so it doesn't just look square like this. So I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna add the rest of these, uh, I'm gonna add the rest of these little splits and then we'll talk about what to do next. And so now we're just gonna push pull this all the way back so that we can add a bevel to the edge of our hammer. And remember that once you've done that once, you can just double click over and over again in order to do that again and again. And so the other thing I'm gonna do is I want this to taper inward, right? Um, but we can't do that right now because it's gonna taper the whole thing. But what I can do is I can double click on this face in order to get the surrounding edges. And then I'm gonna do a shift click to deselect that. Well then I'm just gonna use the move tool in copy mode to copy this geometry in. Now we'll go ahead and we'll call it three quarters of an inch right here. And we can adjust this in a minute. But now what we've done is we've taken this and we've set it up where there's a piece of geometry splitting this face up. Where now if I taper this in like this, Notice how I get that hammer end in here, which looks a lot more like Thor's hammer. It's a lot more realistic. Now, one thing to note about this is remember that if you double click in here and you adjust the raw geometry, so if you select all of this, you can move this in order to make it wider or not. Um, and because this is all raw geometry, this is gonna adjust along with this. I actually think this looks pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna leave it as is. I do wanna come in here and use my eraser tool. I'm just gonna hold the shift key and I'm gonna hide these edges right here so that I don't have a seam running across the side right here. And again, you can come in here and you can make changes to this and adjust it however you want. So not only can you scale this in or out, you can also move it in or out. And again, because that geometry is sticky geometry in here, um, this is going to adjust along with that. So if you want this to have a little more like outward movement or whatever, you can adjust that just by um, moving that face. And then you can scale it in order to make it thinner or thicker. And so what I wanna do is I wanna come in here and I wanna add a little bit more detail to my hammer uh, or to my handle. So the handle right now is kind of boring. And so what I wanna do is I wanna uh, spice it up a little bit. And so the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna double click in here. And again, we're gonna do that same thing where we select this geometry and we move it up on, or we uh, copy it up on the surface. So I'm gonna copy this up maybe an inch or something like that. So I'm gonna copy this up by an inch. 
And again, we're just using this to kind of split off that geometry. And then I'm gonna copy this up again to maybe like 3 16 of an inch right here. So now I have a couple different splits on the end of my handle. Well, the cool thing about that is now, um, this is basically split up this face geometry. Well, if I tap the S key to scale it, we can use this to scale this out in order to create this end piece right here. So what that's done is that's allowed us to create kind of an end like pommel piece that goes on here that holds your hand, that keeps your hand on the hammer. And then from here, there's a few different things we can do. I wanna add a little bit more detail to this surface right here. And so to do that, I'm gonna select this edge and I'm actually going to move it down for a second. And so the reason I'm gonna move it down is because I'm going to offset that out a little bit and I wanna make sure that I can come in here and actually edit this geometry and actually be able to see it. So what I'm gonna do, and this is acting a little bit funky. And so what I did down here is I offset this out and then I just traced over top of it. Okay, and so once I've done that, I'm just gonna push pull this up, maybe like an eighth of an inch or something like this. And then I'm gonna take the whole thing, I'm gonna right click on it, I'm gonna make it a component. And I'm just gonna call it like handle ring or something like that. And so then I can just move this directly back up, maybe like right here. And then what I can do is I can use an array. So I'm gonna tap the M key, tap control, and then move my mouse up. And I wanna make sure that I'm moving it directly on this axis right here on the blue axis. So it's moving straight up and down, but then I can type in forward slash and something like 10 or divided by 12 in order to create copies of this ring. So now we've got those handle rings that make up a part of our handle. And remember, because those are components, if we decide that we wanna come in here and adjust this, right? So if we wanted to like push pull this down so they get narrower or something like that, you can do that just by using the push pull tool right here. All right, so now we're just gonna add materials to this. And so that's gonna be pretty easy, right? We can just come into our materials and we can just pick like a silver color. So I'm just gonna click in here and do a control A. And we're just gonna pick maybe this gray material or something like this. And then down below, we're gonna want kind of a brown material for our handle. So probably like a darker brown. And then for these rings, maybe like a lighter gold color. And then for our handle down below, which we can go ahead and select and put in a group, we'll probably use this same metal material as up here. So we're just gonna pick this gray material right here and color in our handle. All right, so I'll link to the next video in this series on this page. If you have any questions about anything we talked about in this video, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.